Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 17th July, speaking to ANI, the Chief of Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal V. R. Chaudhary said that Indian Air Force is looking to induct MK, LCA Mark I and Mark II along with 114 multi-role fighters under Make in India in future. He mentioned that the case for 114 MRFA is progressing well. As reported earlier, MRFA is going to be bi-global but Make in India program to procure 114 fighter jets. Under this scheme, the foreign OEM who will be winning the contract will have to partner with Indian firm to make the fighter jets in India. Now there are few reports that MRFA deal will soon finalize by end of September this year. While the MRFA progress seems to be going smoother as per Indian Air Force, there is no official confirmation on due date to finalize the foreign OEM for 114 fighter jets. At the same time, Cass mentioned that Indian Air Force has committed for 7 squadrons of AMCA. Talking about the number of LCA Mark II, he said that Indian Air Force will take a call as and when first production model comes out and Indian Air Force will start inducting the aircraft and can always increase the quantity based on its performance and rate of production. The last statement has sparked a lot of controversies and concern among netizens regarding the uncertainties in the number of this Mark II to be inducted by Indian Air Force. Is MRFA going to kill this MK2 program? This Mark II is going to be a test bed and in many ways incubator of AMCA as most of the electronics, avionics and sensors being developed for AMCA will be tried and tested in Mark II version. The CAS did mention that Indian Air Force has already given commitment for the induction of six squadrons of light combat aircraft Mark II fighter jets. The additional numbers, that is, if Indian Air Force wants more than six squadrons of Mark II, will be decided once the production of these aircraft starts. It's important to understand the statement clearly. The intent of Air Force is to keep the production line of Tejas running. If there are delays in this Mark II program, as it happens, Indian Air Force will have to order additional Mark 1A and order less of Mark 2. Therefore, CAS has mentioned that the more order will be decided based on the rate of production. Tejas Mark 2 is necessity of Air Force and they understand it very well. It's not just a next version of Mark 1A but entirely a different aircraft. At the same time, MRFA will take its sweet time before we can see some fighter jet being inducted out of this program. Even after finalization of the deal, the delivery of aircraft will take at least 10 to 12 years to complete with a rate of 12 fighters per year. If we take example of Rafals, the first lot was ordered in 2016 and delivery completed in 2022, that is almost 6 years for 36 Rafals. It will be sensible to assume that delivery of 110 jets would take more than 10 to 12 years to complete. As of now, RFP has also not been issued for MRFA. At the same time, if we talk about this Mark II, the preliminary design review PDR and critical design review CDR is complete for the fighter jet last year. More than 60% of pre-flight test work has been completed, which includes completion and finalization of cockpit configuration, sensors, antenna, process finalization for drawing release, procurement of raw materials and its availability assessment, detailed design of various subsystem, finalization of SOPs for the first flight. TS Mark II General systems and structure are now being manufactured and other components are in development process. HL has started building the prototype of Mark II which is expected to be ready by late 2022 or early 2023 followed by its first flight between 2023 to 24. As per HL chief, by 2026 all the testing of Mark II will be complete and the production activity will start from there onwards. Clearly, this Mark II see its first flight much before the fighter under MRFA starts to roll out. It's important that the focus and prioritization must be given to Mark II program to ensure it is ready on time and more units of indigenous fighter can be inducted. The onus for the same lies with ADA, HL, MOD and Indian Air Force. 
this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector